Monday, and it's time to talk technology, and that means Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joins us once again. Luis, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mark. How are you today? Doing pretty good. Got an interesting story to share with everyone. There's something that's come out of our Congress. It's a drunk driver detection mandate, and this is going to raise privacy questions, but what it's about is some sort of device that Congress would like put onto cars that could supposedly detect from your breath what your blood alcohol level would be and decide whether or not you'd be able to start your car. What's going on with this thing and and why is the ACLU concerned? Yeah, so this is part of the $1.5 trillion infrastructure bill that actually has already passed Congress. And in there, there is a requirement that car companies develop advanced drunk and impaired driving prevention technology. But the problem is nobody really knows what that, that looks like. Nobody knows what that means and nobody knows how to do that. And the big concern is that if you develop technology that can somehow prevent you from starting your car, if the technology considers you to be impaired, what happens to that data? Who has access to it? Is that something that's going to be recorded in the vehicle? Is it going to be uploaded to some central repository? And that's where the ACLU is concerned about the privacy aspects of this, because whatever the technology looks like, there has to be, or probably will be some sort of mechanism to record that just to verify it. All technology is constantly being refined and improved in trying to eliminate false positives. So the idea idea is that this is probably going to be some sort of cloud-based technology that likely records somebody's information and may be able to be tapped into. So it's going to be interesting because it's now a law. It's no longer something that is being considered. And it's something that car makers are going to have to start working on pretty quickly in order to meet the deadlines that Congress has put out there. There's the whole idea of whether you can even technically build something like this that's going to work properly. And is a vehicle going to be disabled? For example, what if you were trying to get away from some people that wanted to assault you, rob you, and you jumped into your car and the system malfunctioned and wouldn't let it start. There could be more problems in trying to develop this type of a system and it could create more problems than what it would solve. Exactly. And the technology isn't there yet and it's probably not going to be there anytime soon. That's Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group. Online, alvareztg.com at alvareztg is the Twitter handle. Luis, the toll-free number for the iTeam. Give us a call at 866-78-ITEAM. That's 866-78-ITEAM. 784-8326.